So the main server I use for my house is an Unraid server. And like a lot of people, I have a Plex library. Now, I only have a Ryzen 3600 for my CPU, which is reasonable, but as you can see, without any VMs or Plex running, I can sit at fairly high CPU usage just from security cameras and network shares and all of that stuff that's running all the time. So while this can handle CPU transcoding for Plex, I also had an RX 570 laying around and I wanted to use GPU transcoding for Plex. Uh, this should be, should I say, a fairly straightforward task with a few exceptions. Uh, exception one, because Unraid doesn't have GPU drivers of any type baked into the operating system itself, it can't share a GPU or allow a Docker to use a GPU for any type of hardware acceleration or hardware transcoding. So using a Plex Docker for that out of the question. So I can't use the AMD GPU directly with a Docker. What options do I have left? I can pass it through to a virtual machine. Now I originally wanted to do this with Ubuntu. The beauty of using AMD GPUs with Linux is that AMD GPU drivers are actually baked right into the, Lin the Linux kernel. So if you set up an Ubuntu VM, pass through an AMD GPU, you are out of the gates running beautifully with no driver install needed. However, Plex only supports AMD GPU transcoding in Windows. So I guess I'm using Windows. There we go, it started. Now for a VM running with a GPU installed, I normally use AnyDesk to access it remotely. And in order to accomplish this task, I do have a dummy DisplayPort plug. Uh, dummy plugs for DisplayPort, DVI, HDMI are plugged into the back of a graphics card and are recognized by the graphics card as a display, even though it's just a short plug that ends in nothing. Um, that way we can get the GPU to create a display for us to remote into without actually having a display connected. So I log in. Uh, I also have this running uh, Omada, which is a TP-Link controller for their enterprise grade access points, which is what I use for Wi-Fi around my house. That's why you're seeing this pop up and this. But this is also running a Plex Media Server and GPU. So basically, I have not uh, been able to actually run the Radeon GPU driver installer at any point with any type of success. Um, I have two things that occur. Either it restarts the VM when it tries to detect the hardware. I thought I had a solution to that figured out. And I'll pull up what I believe or what I thought was the solution. If we take a look at the XML file for the Windows VM, and we scroll down to right here, or this one really. This is where in the XML we assign the GPU to be passed through to the VM. Now, this XML has not been edited. Uh, it's been handled entirely uh, by Unraid with the GUI interface being the only thing I've used to set this up. But, 
I want to take a look at the source device here and compare it to the final device. Now for the source device we have bus 2b slot 00, 00 function 0 and that gets passed through to bus 4 slot 00, 00 function 0. But take a look at this device. See a GPU is two devices and here we have bus 2b the same device, it's the same bus. Slot 00, zero same slot as this device here, function 1. Function 1 is the sound device for this GPU. Function 0 is the graphical device. However, the graphical device gets passed through to bus 04 and the sound device gets passed through to bus 05. I thought by enabling multifunction, properly setting the sound device to get passed through on the same bus as the video device and changing its function to function 1, I would be able to run the Radeon driver installer. It didn't work. When I do that, the only thing the Radeon driver installer finds is nothing. It bounces back an error message that the hardware in the system is not compatible and to close the installer and reopen it when compatible hardware is present. So that's not working. What is working? Because as I showed you, I have a VM running Windows 10 with an RX 570 available to it. Well, this has required a few different steps. Out of the gate, actually the best way to show this is to click add a VM and show you what the default settings for a Windows 10 VM are. Because out of the gate, this does not work. Default settings don't function. What I've discovered is that by default, Windows 10 machines run in i440fx machine and I have not uh, been able to get Windows to boot with my GPU with that type of machine. It's failed every time. If I change it to Q35-51, the newest Q35 machine available, it boots no problem. So first, if you're setting this up, change the machine type. Second thing to do, make sure the graphics card is passed through, make sure you have a compatible BIOS, and pass through the HDMI audio for that GPU as the sound card for the system. Machine type is Q35, and at this point you should be able to boot into Windows and have a Radeon RX 570 or potentially some other AMD GPU Obviously, I can't guarantee that this is going to work with just any GPU that's out there. Um, so what's the catch? There is one pretty big catch. The only drivers I have been able to get working are the ones provided by Microsoft. And if we open Device Manager and look at the display adapter, our RX 570 right here, the newest drivers available are nearly a year old. So I really, I can't recommend this setup if you're trying to use this for like a gaming VM where you want to play games that are newer than December of 2019 that might not have driver support within this driver. This is kind of unfortunate. However, for the moment, it is what it is because if I open a Plex window and fire up an old episode of Hogan's Heroes or whatever else, we can see in the Plex dashboard 
that we are using hardware transcoding. And we can check this by scrubbing around in the video a bit and seeing that we don't have any CPU spikes. So this is fantastic. CPU usage stays down and we have hardware transcoding.